Hi, my name is Hemant, and today we'll talk about Bowl 7, which is a chat application that comes with the WhatsApp Business API. We've added some new features, and I'll describe them to you and also give you a demo. This is our basic application, okay? Whatever inquiries you receive on your WhatsApp Business API numbers, you can converse with them through this chat. Uh, for example, the client's name will appear at the top, all right? and whatever messages the client has sent will appear to you normally. If the client is live and you want to send an instant message, you can type a message right from here, just like we talk on normal WhatsApp exactly in the same way. If you want to save this number as a favorite, it will go into the favorites. If you want to chat on WhatsApp with a particular client associated with this number, if your phone has WhatsApp, then by clicking on this, it will open WhatsApp directly and you can have a direct conversation from here because in WhatsApp Business API, you can only talk with the live client. But if you want to talk to that client after 24 hours, you will have to switch to your normal WhatsApp because the session ends. All right, so now let's talk about the next features. If you want to call this client, there is a direct call button here. If you click it, you can directly call the client's number. And the most interesting new function added is lead. As soon as you click on lead, it asks you whether this is a sales lead or a service lead. Let's say it's a sales lead, okay? New lead type. For example, we have added details about our services in it. Within the WhatsApp business API, whichever team member you want to share this with, let's say I wanted to share it with Ankur, select him, and whatever your description is, enter it, e.g. testing, and save. As soon as you save it, first, this entire record is saved on your server. In the panel we have provided you, there is a lead section. You will get all the information in that panel. Second, look here, the message has auto typed and you just need to send it to that person. It includes the client's name, the client's number and the description message you wrote. Testing. This is how it works. Now I'll show you how we set this up in our application. We open our chat application and there is a settings button here. If you click it at the top, there is a greeting message, away, etc. We've already explained it to you in the last video. You can try it out. Secondly, if you have WhatsApp, generally we use two types, WhatsApp and WhatsApp Business API, whichever WhatsApp you want to use, click on it and it will become the default. If there's any person in your team you want to add for leads, you can add them directly from your phone book. For instance, let me take a new number here. As soon as you share, the name and number from your phone book will appear. Clicking on it will save it as I've done with four team members numbers. Plus you can also add your services. You'll enter the name of the service, okay? And then the service and product will be added. You can add new follow-ups for your sales leads as you like. If you want to remove any service, just select it and remove. That service will be removed. If you want to type in any type of sales lead, you can add it, right? If you want to add something in the service lead type, you can do so. And if you want to remove it, just click the cross button here and it will be removed. So basically, this is our new update. I've told you about this application's channel section. Whatever numbers you're already using on the WhatsApp channel, you will see all those numbers here. Secondly, any leads we've shared, like I just shared a lead with Ankur, all that information will appear here. Whatever inquiries you've made, you can take follow-ups from your team as well. And this same list will also be visible on your panel. In the panel we gave you, there is a lead section. You will see all those leads there. And from there, you can also download them. Thank you so much. That's all for today.